من فرق الجماعة شبرين مات ميتة جاهلية whoever divides the main body of Muslims they divide أحد السنة they divide the main body of Muslims you know telling them to go against the leader to speak out the leader to protest against the leader then they have uh, they have divided uh, the jama'at and they ha if they divide the jama'at even a hand span then they have then they, and, and they die upon that they they have died the death of jahiliya showing that this is a very serious a very serious sin the Prophet ﷺ said, Isma wa ti' wa in akhadha malik wa jaladu dhaharik. The Prophet ﷺ said, and this is in the hadith of Hudayfa, I believe, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, kama fi hadith of Hudayfa. He said, Rahu Muslim. When the Prophet ﷺ said, hear and obey and and, and again when we hear uh, uh, you know uh, whenever we hear a command in the sharia it shows us that it is an obligation this is the asl so here the prophet commands us and this is in arabic in the imperative form he says isma the prophet said hear and obey he commanded us isma he said hear and obey وَإِنْ أَخْذُوا مَالَكْ مَالَكْ وَجَلَدُوا ظَهْرَكْ Hear and obey even if the leader takes your wealth and beats your back. That's powerful nusus there. That's very difficult. I can't say that if someone were to take my wealth right now, a police officer, or what have you. I don't feel good about that. I have a right to at least complain to them. Definitely. You have a right to get your hawk back. In that sense. But here the Prophet ﷺ is, showing, is illustrating for us and commanding us. But we still have to hear and obey that leader. And that does, that does not negate being obedient to the leader. Even if he's doing this wicked oppression. He's taking your wealth. In unlawfully and this is even greater I can't say that if a police officer strikes me that I'm gonna just lay my head down you know just as a, a reaction I'm gonna be angry hopefully I'll be able to control myself because they have a lot of power they can just bury you somewhere whether they're Muslim or non-Muslim they have a lot of authority in their in in uh, they are there uh, throughout the world because they are the authority in the lands so even if they t take your wealth or they beat your back, that takes patience. The Prophet ﷺ said, Isma wa tiyah. And he said, be patient. Asbir. Ahabat tifillah, these, kind, these are some of the nasus amongst the many which illustrate for us the importance of not rebelling against the leader and that when the leader is uh, even wicked, and oppressive, we still should not protest and rebel. And as the ulama, the Salafi scholars say, and even the scholars, the Khwani Muslim, Khwani Muslimin scholars and other scholars will point out that the Salafi scholars are united upon this. Uh, believe in taking these nasus very literal and how they were codified by the Salaf of this ummah that Rebellion, rebellion encompasses even those things of protests and sit-ins that we should not do that we should not do that that's just it's just not an islamic way of dealing with our issues but rather we should go to those people if you are being oppressed you do have a right to get your right back and you do have a right to speak about it to someone who can change that, meaning someone who is in authority, to complain to the authorities. And if you don't have the ability to go to them, that there's a means for going to, you know, to the ulama or the means in that society, in that particular society, if they have means for you to get your right back, you know, going through the Islamic courts or whatever the situation may be, that this is the way that we have to strive. If those means are not there, then it's, it's best for you to be patient. 
but it isn't for you to call, call, uh, cause chaos and rebellion. And as Imam Baba Hadi mentioned, that he said, It's not from the Sunnah to go against the Sultan or fight the Sultan. Because in that, there is a uh, spread of wickedness in, the, in this life as well as in the religion. And this is what all those Nasus of the Prophet والسلام, uh, illustrate for us. And I think we'll end there. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.